Well, Congress plans to investigate the FAA approval process of the Boeing 737 MAX. CBS News has learned federal authorities have told employees at Boeing and the FAA in Seattle to retain documents dealing with the approval process of those jets. As Mola Lange reports, the development comes as preliminary evidence shows similarities between the Ethiopian Airlines crash that killed 157 people and another MAX jet crash in October. Thousands mourned the victims of the Ethiopian plane crash Sunday as 17 empty flag-draped caskets made their way through the streets of Ethiopia's capital. The nation's transportation minister says that early data from the black boxes shows a clear similarity to the crash of another Boeing 737 MAX 8 in Indonesia last October. Satellite data also shows the flight patterns between the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 and the Lion Air flight were very similar. And physical evidence found at the crash scene in Africa includes the plane's jack screw, which helps lower or raise the nose of the plane. It was set in a dive position, indicating there may have been an issue with Boeing's automated flight control software. Boeing is under scrutiny following the two crashes. CBS News has learned that federal authorities have told employees at the company and the FAA to retain documents dealing with the approval process of the MAX jets. Boeing's pilot training is also being questioned. CBS News has learned U.S. pilots were given initial training of 56 minutes on an iPad about the differences between the new Boeing MAX planes and the older 737s. In a statement, Boeing CEO says the company is finalizing its development of a software update, as well as a revision to pilot training to address concerns stemming from the Lion Air crash. Mola Lange, CBS News, Reagan National Airport, Virginia. The U.S. and many other countries have grounded their MAX 8 planes for now while the investigation continues.